Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create anime speed lines in After Effects. After watching this tutorial, you can use these speed lines to boost motion, highlight action, and add style to your projects. Without further ado, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Anime Speed Lines. As always, I am using the same resolutions and frame rate. Set the duration to 5 seconds. Right click on the empty space. And create a solid layer. Again right click here, and create an adjustment layer. Rename the adjustment layer if you want. Keep the adjustment layer selected. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the turbulent noise effect on it. Change the noise type to Spline. Increase the contrast value to 2600. And set the brightness value to negative 250. Go under the Transform. Uncheck the Uniform Scaling. Increase the width to 4000. And height to 30. As you can see, nothing is happening. Just hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, and click the Evolution Stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type here, Time multiplied by 1000. If you preview this, you'll see the horizontal speed lines moving. As you may notice, there are too many lines. Let's reduce the number of lines by changing the brightness value from minus 250 to minus 350. Also change the width value from 4000 to 30. And change the height from 30 to 4000. Go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the polar coordinates effect on the adjustment layer. Change the type of conversion to rect to polar. And change the interpolation value to 100%. Click this transparency button to see the changes. Select the black solid layer. And press S to open scale properties. Change its scale to 220%. Select the adjustment layer. Go to the toolbar, and select the ellipse tool. Hold the shift and alt keys, then draw a circle. Press space to move the circle. Once the circle is centered, select the inverted checkbox option. Go to the mask one. Change the mask feather value to 100 pixels. And that's it. Our anime speed lines are ready. If you want to change the background color, so follow the next step. Select both layers. Right click, and choose pre-compose. Name it speed lines. Press Ctrl plus Y to create a solid layer. Change its color to light blue, or any color you prefer. Drag the solid layer just below the speed line composition. Select the speed lines layer. Change its blending mode from normal to screen. Let me import the airplane footage I created. Now, if you drag and drop the airplane footage above all layers, it will look like the airplane is flying at high speed. Cool. Looks perfect to me. By applying these techniques, you can create anime speed lines. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.